Now we come to our final quickfire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. <laughs> OK, here we go. The first subject is unlikely lines from a thriller. Michael, Peter, David, Vladimir, I think we may have a spy in the organisation. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Pentagon. Then the triangle, and then the square. Ah, <laughs> oh, pussy galore, Bond here. I've been told by my doctor that I need to contact all previous partners. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of this motel dresses up as his mother and stabs people. But the guidebook says it's still better than the ibis. <laughs> I want you to go to Warsaw, meet a man called Borislav. You will then ask him why he didn't fix my plumbing before he left for home. <laughs> Miss Scarlet looked at him through the window. He had one massive testicle like a space hopper. <laughs> that was why they called him Professor Plum. <laughs> this is no ordinary pen, Bond. Turn it upside down, the woman's <laughs> clothes drop off and you can see it. <laughs> Red or green, red or green, which do I cut? Come on, they're only peppers. How long is this salad going to take? <laughs> we need to find the third man. There's no way Amanda Holden will shag just two of us. <laughs> Here's... Simon. <laughs> the Orient Express has been cancelled. However, there was a murder on the temporary Orient replacement bus. <laughs> I have amnesia. The tattoos on my body will tell me what happened. Dara was here. <laughs> I'd been a serial killer for four years, but they'd never given me a nickname. Then... You bite one guy in the ass, <laughs> and suddenly you're the butt muncher. <laughs> ah, the butt muncher's got me! The butt muncher's got me! <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Bad things to say at a wedding. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, the vowels are simple. Just repeat after me. Eeny, meeny, macaraca, rare ride, dominaca, chicka, bocca, lolly, popper, on, pom, push. <laughs> and we will now sing hymn number 225. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> when John went down on one knee, I wish I'd known that he was having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to thank Elsie for the flowers. It was her funeral I nicked them from. <laughs> So what, your best man's in an absolute state. That's my mum. <laughs> now, it's my job to tell some amusing stories about Gavin. So, first of all, for a kick-off, he's a hermaphrodite. <laughs> my bride always wears white. Isn't that right, Dolly? Bear! <laughs> 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 Carol's family have always had their doubts about me. So, first of all, let me explain why I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first gay wedding, so you must be the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> to my new son-in-law, I would say this. You have released me. This monster is yours now. <laughs> I would like to apologise for the state of my clothes and the smell of sick only I spent last night in a skip. <laughs> anyway, dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today. People have said to me, why have you stopped being a bachelor after so long? And I say, well, look at her. <laughs> she's wealthy and she's dying. <laughs> A traditional Norfolk wedding without a speech from the father of the bride and groom. 
the end of that round. The points go to Frankie Hughes-Stewart.